Welcome to Smart Money. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sunny. What does it take for SMEs to embrace branding in this country? Well, one study aims to answer that very question. A survey done by BizFear shows that brand investment in SMEs remain the greatest concern and challenge for this sector. I have with me Yap Keng Tech, the managing consultant of BizFear, to discuss this further. So, Yap, let's talk about the survey itself. What does this survey tell you about? Now, um, this survey, we conducted this survey uh, last year, October to November, uh, in collaboration with uh, Maybank, Madrid, AVs and uh, same a government agency. The purpose of it is to uh, get to know what is the common practices of SMEs in branding and marketing. So uh, the conversation is all about the challenges that is uh, being involved with these companies, mm. uh, the internal and external cha challenges. Let's take a look into some of the graphics here. Mm. Uh, here's the internal challenges. What's the biggest internal challenges for these uh, SMEs? For SMEs, the biggest internal challenges is that there are insufficient funds for them to brand themselves. Okay. That's the internal challenges. Okay. And for the external challenges, it is because that uh, it's high cost. There are a lot of the different media that they need to go to. Mm -hmm. And with these challenges, they now have to embrace themselves uh, with uh, uh, managing these kind of challenges or problems for that matter. Uh, and right now, they want to, in, uh, uh, as I understand from your survey, they want to get involved in the digital space. Yep. So I have here another graphic that you guys uh, prepared uh, is basically talking about the uh, digital challenges. Let's take a look into this graphic. Can you talk to us about this? Now, uh, it's very clear that the SMEs is going forward uh, to embrace the digital communications, the digital marketing and so forth. Uh, it's, it's not a, a, a puzzle or something that is rocket science because Malaysia is one of the most popular countries with highest social media engagement. And that is why the SMEs always would like to go into that area. Okay, and here you have 58% that says that they want to embrace on social media and many others. Do you think that SMEs are actually doing Doing this. Now, despite that the SMEs recognize the importance of social media and digital marketing, their lack of the uh, knowledge, the experience to do so. So they are struggling and what they can do is just on trial and error or just depending on some of the digital marketing agencies. So companies like yourself, I, I noticed that you guys work with Maida, with many others. Uh, has these type of collaborations actually helped all these SMEs to actually embrace a better and more in, uh, efficient way of communicating with the public, through, particularly through the digital space? Well, uh, definitely, because uh, what does the SME needs is very much that the knowledge, what to do and how to do. From the Matrail or the SME Corp or the other government agencies, what they can provide is that provide the platform. Mm -hmm. They have the platform, where can these SMEs go? But who is going to teach them how to go about it? Mm -hmm. Coaching them, training them, guiding them. They need someone who can spend more time, which government would not have enough time for that. They are already doing their best in providing the relevant, relevant platform to them. Okay, we'll take a short break, but when we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more about the BISC Sphere Survey. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Smart Money. I'm your host, Ibrahim Sani. Today, we are trying to untangle what it takes for SME to embrace branding. Uh, joining me is uh, Yap Kentek, the uh, uh, Managing Consultant for BizSphere. Uh, you guys have done this survey uh, that basically tries to understand what it takes for SMEs to embrace. Uh, one of them is the digital space. The findings is there. Can I just showcase that particular graph? It shows one of the most effective tools uh, for these uh, uh, um, SMEs to embrace. Can you discuss with us all the elements inside it. Now, uh, SMEs right now are puzzled that which platform should they use to promote their brand. And very clearly, digital is the priority. But yet, digital, there's a lot of choice. So they do not know how to choose it. Okay, that's one. And the cost of it, how are they going to come up with the budget to do that? Yet, we have to acknowledge that not only digital is useful for SME branding. Mm -hmm. Digital is very good for you to reach out to your target group. But yet, the conventional media is good for the positioning of the brand. Mm -hmm. And the engagement activity is very, very important to 
for the SMEs to actually talk to them, explain to them, educate them so that they can get business leads. Mm -hmm. it, it, it cannot be based only on the awareness. Mm -hmm. Digital is very good in spreading the news, everyone will know you, but how many of them will really understand what are you delivering and what are you offering? And of course, the most important part of this uh, survey is the kind of things that these SMEs want. Yep. In fact, the wish list is most important. Here we have the wish list, the top five at least, wish list of these companies. Can you discuss to us each and every single one of them? Now, the top wish list is still about money. Okay, Money whereby they would like to have some support from the government agencies that maybe grants or loan or technical assistance. Okay, that is what they want. Number two? Number two would be the dedicated people. Okay, Dedicated people to be responsible for the branding. Number three, it would be the uh, allocated, budget, allocated budget. Number four, go for the uh, digital media. And fifth is to engage their customers. Okay, That is the five key top uh, which list that they have listed to us. And do you think that uh, there are enough uh, you know, movement, at least by the sector, by the government, by at least consumers, all this trying to help this sector grow uh, to meet this wish list? Or is there a gap there somewhere? Well, everyone is doing their bits, uh, but definitely there will be a gap. Uh, like for example, let me say an example. Government really do offer a lot of program assistance programs. And, but yet, we found out that there's only about uh, half of them okay, participated, sorry, half of them know about the program, and only 8% of them participate in the program that is offered. Why is that so? We met with a lot of SMEs, yet the reasons that they give is that, well, it's very tedious, time consuming, despite that they know that it exists, they don't put in the effort to go and apply. Mm. And that is very sad. So you have the needs, but you don't put an effort into it. So there is a gap over there. So what we are doing right now is that we are trying to work very closely with the government agencies so to disseminate this kind of information and try to guide them as well. Because we do a lot of trainings and so forth, and we can actually effectively explain to them what are the benefits and how to do it. What are the, some of the government agencies that you speak to uh, and, and how are they helping? Can these SMEs, if they're watching right now, can they, can they reach out to them? Now, there are a few uh, related to brand and marketing, branding and marketing. Uh, I, would say that, I would say that these two agencies will be most relevant. Number one is Smart Trade. For example, they got this uh, e-export. Okay? If you want to go for export, you want to go for online, there are programs for it. Number two, go export, whereby if you want to expand into a new country, you can do so by sub they will be subsidizing your advertising promotion, your translation fee, and so forth. And there is a national mark of Malaysian brand, which is by SME Corp. Malaysia SME is very popular for manufacturing, but the manufacturer, they don't brand it. So this national mark of Malaysian brand, the intention is to uh, able to help them to brand themselves, which they offer uh, linkages to the uh, GLCs, mm -hmm. to the uh, MNCs, and they also give them grants, which is a handsome amount. All right, great, uh, Kang Tech. I think we should learn more about this survey. Um, if people want to learn more about this, where do they go to? Now, they can actually uh, go to our website, which is www.bizsphere.com.my slash SME Branding Survey 2017. All right, great, thanks. Now, I've been speaking to Yap Kang Tech, the Managing Consultant of Bizsphere. That wraps up this edition of Smart Money. Be sure to follow us.